Hello, this is Marsha Lee and welcome to my garden diary. Uh, today is uh, quite a nice day, so I'm doing some work in the garden and I wanted to feature or to just take a closer look at these tulips here. As you can see, they are orange and they're called, um, it's called Orange Empire, 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 I think I'll write the name um, as the title for this video. And I really like this, look at, because they have uh, that green at the side there. And these are some of the, the tulips that I planted in February. And so it's warm enough now and they had some time to sink in their roots and yeah, and they're doing well and I, I really like the color little bit different so what else have I been doing in the garden I've been I'm continuing working on my um, my lawn the borders for the garden and that's coming on well and over here we have forget me not see or forget me not uh, so that is looking well even though I they planted themselves out so much and I was going to get rid of some of them but um, but no um, I think I like the way this looks when they're all open uh, so I'll clean that up a little bit when when they, the blooms have been spent or are spent so yeah so this is what I'm working on continuing on the border and I think today too, I'm going to work on the spent daffodils because the, those are spent and I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide the garden into, because I have about, I have lots of different types of daffodils. I haven't counted to see how many different types I have, but I'm going to uh, put the different types together so that they're not so mixed up together. Um, but yeah, it's spent and um, I'm going to start um, digging them up. So like, for example, this one here, it is so huge and I need to separate some of the bulbs and put them in different places. And I'll show you how I do that. So from that one big patch there, I'll just see how many bulbs I get from that and then I can um, spread the daffodil love in some other places in the garden, especially over there. I'm going to plant some on that side so that next year um, in spring, I will have uh, more daffodils there. And also I want to plant some in the driveway. So um, just, I'm going to go and get my tools and I'll um, pull this up because yeah, there's some that are, but look, it's, not that beautiful anymore it's spent and I'm just going to start um, putting these in different places in the garden now before the other um, early summer late spring um, plants start um, taking over the garden so let me get my tools and I will show you how many bulbs I get from that there okay so I have uh, a <laughs> I have the daffodils here. I dug that one big, um, I don't know, plant. I dug it up and I, I have quite a lot of bulbs here from that. I, I've counted them already and from all of this, I can get 21 individual new, well, not new. I could plant 21 plants from, from uh, from that so yeah one of the reasons I love gardening uh, it's amazing how the plants reproduce and they multiply and from one you get two and from two you get four exponentially uh, so um, what I'm going to do I'm going to usually if I wanted to have um, daffodils right here I would have left at least one strong plant in there 
but I don't I'm not going to have daffodils right here I'm going to plant tulips there because it's a bit too close to the front here so I'm not going to leave any daffodils in the original place I'm going to take them all away and then I'm going to plant them in different places in the garden so let's just look at um, so for example this here is one bulb and I can plant it just by itself like that because I know it's it's mature enough it has a spent bloom right there there is the, the bloom so I know that for sure next year this one um, will grow and uh, it will have another bloom um, but if it's small like this there's like this one here um, it doesn't this one doesn't have any bloom on it let me put it down so that little one there there are two there they, they don't have any bloom it could be that it matures enough um, and um, it matures enough and will have blooms next year but I'm not so sure so what I'll do I'll just put it with another plant like so maybe with this one here this is not so just one medium plant but it was mature enough so it had a bloom on it this year just to make sure that I have bloom wherever I plant um, I plant this one so yeah if you have um, if you plant a daffodil this year then more than likely next year or the latest the year after that you will be able to divide it and have more than one um, more than one plant at least you can double the amount of of daffodils or and it's the same for um, tulips as well so the same thing I did with this I'll just do with the tulips when they're spent if I want to yeah and then I'll have more and then I'll have more in the garden so I think that's going to be it for today's video I have lots of stuff to do in the garden I hear I have some variegated um, tulips i won't do a separate video on that the leaves are variegated the um the blooms are quite nice i don't know the name for this one i bought this about oh, i don't know four years ago but ikea and it was just one bulb and now i have one two three four five and i bought it it was in the same um it came with this daffodil and this smells so good um, this daffodil here it's with a multiple top it it's just the garden smells amazing there are some daffodils that smell and some that are not so scented but this one smells so good and it has multiple heads on it so and again I multiplied that I, it was in the same container with the tulip there and um, yeah and then yeah uh, a lot going on in the garden and some more tulips that i planted in january here those are some um also variegated but not with white but are uh, or striped with yellow so yeah so <laughs> uh that's going to be it for for this video and wherever you are i hope the days are warming up like they're warming up here and that you are able to enjoy your garden okay that's it for this video and i will see you in the next one bye